Can you think of the last time you felt a bit low for no reason or maybe a minor upset at home or at work like what is the point We all experience days when we feel down or blue it could be for no reason or due to external factors like a bad day at work or a stressful event Feeling blue is a normal emotion that we all experience at some point like the weather our mood can change regularly However, when these emotions become more intense and persistent, they indicate deeper issues such as despair, despondency, and sometimes even depression. In today's short video, I will explain the difference between despair, despondency, and depression so that you feel empowered to understand what is going on just in case you are experiencing any of these emotions. Despair is a more intense emotion than feeling blue. It is characterized by feelings of hopelessness and helplessness and sometimes even worthlessness. People experiencing despair may feel as though nothing can ever improve and they resign to their situation. It can be caused by various factors. Let me give you an example. Joe kept trying for promotions at work but despite his efforts he did not succeed. He felt despair about his situation and a sense that things were just not going to change. He felt estranged at work and there was a sense of helplessness. But despair also gives us an opportunity to review our situation and rethink our priorities. If you haven't already, please watch my video on reinventing oneself. So what is despondency and how is it different from despair? Despondency is similar to despair but it is characterized by a lack of motivation and energy. People experiencing despondency may feel numb, apathetic or indifferent to their surroundings. They may struggle to find enjoyment in activities that they once enjoyed and may feel like nothing can ever change for the better. Despondency can be caused by various factors like chronic stress, burnout or even physical illness. For example, a person who has been working long hours without a break or another person who may be caring for a sick relative without a break or someone who is dealing with chronic pain may experience despondency. Of course, one can experience despair and despondency together. Depression is a medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by persistent feelings of sadness. hopelessness, a motivation, tiredness, worthlessness and these feelings can last for weeks or months or even years sometimes. Depression can interfere with our daily activities like work or school and can lead to physical symptoms like fatigue, changes in appetite and sleep disturbances. Depression can be caused by a combination of genetic, biological, psychological or socio-cultural factors. For example, a person who has a family history of depression or has a biological vulnerability may be more susceptible to depression. That does not mean they will definitely have depression. Research has shown that these emotional states can be influenced by imbalances in certain neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine that can be responsible for regulating mood, emotions and motivation. A decrease in serotonin levels for example has been linked to depression and other emotional disorders. Furthermore, stress is another biological factor that can contribute to these emotional states. Stress can activate the body's fight or flight response which can lead to release of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Over time, chronic stress can lead to physical and emotional problems like anxiety and depression. Additionally, childhood trauma and other environmental influences also make individuals vulnerable to depression. I would recommend you watch my videos on stress and anxiety to understand the mechanisms and how the body copes in these situations. It is important to note that while these emotional states have similarities, they also have distinct differences that should be considered when we try and understand them and seek help or treatment. Feeling blue is a normal emotion that is often temporary and may not interfere with daily activities. Despair and despondency are more intense emotional states that can be caused by external stressors and sometimes by our internal struggles. 
Depression is a medical condition that can be caused by a combination of genetic, environmental and biological factors. A diagnosis of depression requires a period of low mood or diminished interest in activities occurring most of the day nearly every day during a period lasting at least two weeks accompanied by other symptoms like difficulty concentrating, feelings of worthlessness or excessive or inappropriate guilt, hopelessness, recurrent thoughts of death or suicide, changes in appetite or sleep, psychomotor agitation or retardation, and reduced energy or fatigue. Of course, we are all different and there are various presentations within this because different individuals experience dif depression with different intensity and the symptom combination may vary. As you will notice, many individuals can be depressed without even experiencing low mood. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these emotional states, it is important to seek help. Remember, mental well-being is just as important as physical well-being. By recognizing the differences between these emotional states and seeking help when needed, we can take important steps towards improving our mental well-being and living a more fulfilled life. Note that biology is just one factor that can contribute to these emotional states. Other factors such as social support, lifestyle choices and coping strategies can also play a significant role in preventing or overcoming these emotional states. So, if you think you may be suffering low mood or any of the symptoms discussed, I would like you to do the following exercise today. Create a mood diary. Daily, write about your mood changes and what triggers those changes. Can you recognize whether you are experiencing despair, despondency or depression? Think about other features like energy levels, enjoyment, sleep, appetite. If possible, continue doing some activity you enjoy daily, even if you may not feel like doing it. And if you believe you meet any of the criteria for the emotional states discussed today, please seek help. Watch my next video here and if you want to learn more on how to live a more fulfilled life, subscribe to my channel here. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell it, tell it to all the people you know. Thank you for watching.